One of the most striking aspects of sailing on board the Azamara journey is that the crew are so visible and so friendly. They literally can't do enough for you and really bend over backwards to make your trip as pleasurable and easy as possible. You see the captain and his officers mingling freely, when they're not steering the ship of course, and everywhere you go, you're always met with a smile. Thank you. A voyage on Azamara is the perfect opportunity for a bit of pampering, so I've come to the spa. Here you can get a lovely massage, you can have a facial, a body scrub, you can even get your teeth whitened. Or if you prefer, you could hit the gym and have a training session or try some yoga. Basically, it's all those things that you never get time for at home. So I'm going to book a little bit of me time in now. Hello. If all you want to do is soak up some sun and enjoy the pool, then you'll be in heaven. But actually, there's a lot of other stuff to do here as well, from culinary demonstrations, dance lessons, to wine tasting. Um, Azamara's onboard enrichment program really offers so much knowledge and is a lot of fun too. You could even polish up your computer skills or learn how to edit your holiday snaps in Photoshop. Of course, on any cruise, you can go ashore and explore the ports that you're in. But what Azamara do so well is what they call the Land Discoveries Programme. Now this ensures that their excursions are really immersive. So for example, you may go to somebody's actual private home or villa or farm and meet people from the region. So you absolutely get a flavor of the local culture of wherever it is that you are. Not only that, because they spend more time in port and have more overnights, you also get to do some wonderful nighttime trips. It really is a whole new world.